Don't always believe what you see and read in the media, people, and especially from politicians, you should know better. Let's start with the facts about a little over a week ago. A Japanese whaling vessel entered Australian waters, approximately 14 miles off Perth, Bunbury. This was so close that the people from Bunbury and when you're on, short, on board the whaling vessel, you could actually see the lights of Perth. The Australian government was contacted by Sea Shepherd, by many people from Sea Shepherd, trying to get these whalers out of well in that were well into Australian waters out of Australian waters as soon as possible. The Australian government did, didn't do a damn thing, and failed to uphold legal obligations to stop this from happening. Yet they did nothing except sign a couple of billion dollar deal for gas going to Japan and oil. And to make things worse, another Japanese vessel was off the port of Tasmania. So, you know, we had two different Japanese whaling vessels in Australia that were totally ignored by the Gillard government. When is something, when is this government going to be acting on their legal obligations to stop this from happening? I don't, look, if you don't care about whales, that's fine. But don't be hoodwinked by the government. You know, Sea Shepherd offered to pick up these people. Could have, no problem, would have taken, you know, a few hours or something, but it would have been done for free. But no, it was ignored. And the Ocean Protector's doing its job anyway. That was at, it had left port anyway. So how does it cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for a boat to go from point A to point B, doing its job regardless? And the Gillard government goes, oh, you know, we're gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, if you're doing a job in the first place, which was your election promise to stop this from happening, Oh, hang on, sorry, we don't keep election promises in Australia.